So we're going to do portobello fries today. And portobello fries, we take portobello mushrooms, we sort of slice them into like thick steakhouse fries, and uh, these get deep fried. So I'll show you how we put a batter on these things though, dude, right? What we do is we take our uh, mushrooms and we toss them into milk. So all that is right there is whole milk. And straight from the milk, we go into a special flour. And this flour is called Wondra flour. And Wonder, Wonder flour, there's many types of flours, is a very, very, very fine flour. It's almost like, uh, like dust. Super, super fine flour. We coat them in this super fine flour. We take the mushrooms. We run them through a little uh, sieve here. So the sieve, the basket can uh, dust off all the excess flour because we don't really want any of that. And then we toss them into our deep fryer. And we make sure that since they're a little light, that they don't float. So they cook all the way through. This, this uh, recipe we use for breading a lot of things. We bread our calamari like this. Again, because it doesn't retain any of the oil. It's a flour that lets go of all the oil. We're probably about a minute and a half. Again, mush, portobello mushroom. Mushrooms are very nice, even if you're eating them sort of on the raw side. So you're looking for color more than you're looking for anything. You want these to be nice and crispy, just like a, just like a potato french fry. They've all floated to the top. The bubbles are getting smaller. That means they're pretty much fried out. And we're gonna bring them right up on top here and just let them kick around the oil for a second. So what we do now with them to finish these is we take the portobello fries and we toss them into a bowl, just like that. You know, you can sort of hear the crunch right by microphone, a little hearing of the crunch there. We had Parmesan cheese. And we had Italian parsley. And we season them with salt and pepper. And then we serve them in a little ramekin like this. We stack them high. We finish with a little bit of the Parmesan and parsley that's left in the bowl. And we serve them with a little bit of an aioli sauce. And the aioli sauce we make is we make a homemade aioli that has a lot of basil in it. So it's a little basil aioli. And that's your dipping sauce for our portobello fries.